hi guys and welcome back to my channel today um is monday november 13th i do have my weekly melt box here to show you i'm sorry i didn't film one last week i was not feeling too well and my asthma has been acting up and blah 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 um and i think just the the, the change is in seasons Oh my god, I'm stuttering like a mad woman. The change in seasons has kind of affected my mood lately. I love the fall. I love the colors. I love the sense of the fall. Um, but it does kind of get to me, especially after that daylight savings time change and whatnot. And it being like, feeling like midnight at like 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Um... So I've been a little bit uh, affected by that, um, but it, it is what it is. I mean, we go through every year. Um, <laughs> it's not anything new, um, but to kind of decompress and just like let um, let off some, not only if I want to say let off some steam, like I'm punching a punching bag or whatnot, but um, I don't know, do a lot of you guys um, color? I love to color. I used to sit with my daughter and just like color in her coloring books because it's it kind of just takes your mind off a lot of crap. Um, and you're just kind of focused on the coloring. And um, I have quite a few of these books and these designs are pretty cool. And, you know, I kind of just like really get into it. And once I'm going, um, you know, helps you decompress a little bit. But, um, yes, so I love to color. I have like four, maybe three or four of these books. Um, but my OCD will not allow me to start a new book until I finish one. So <laughs> I've been working on that. Um, I have had that book for probably about a year and a half to two years. Um, but I have really been getting into it again lately. I have been melting wax. Um, just there are some days where I just don't feel like changing my warmers because I'm a lazy ass sometimes. Okay. But anyways, let me get into um, what I melted over the past two weeks. Um, and I was also thinking, um, you guys let me know, should I continue to do it every week or should I do more like a bi-weekly? Some weeks I feel like there's just not a lot to share. Um, especially if it's, you know, the same old crap that I've been melting. Well, not crap, but you know what I mean. Um, or to do it bi-weekly, I have more of a selection to show you guys. Um, so leave a comment below. What do you think? I don't know. I'm very scatterbrained and wishy-washy, and I can't make a decision to save my life. So, <laughs> let me just, um... I guess I'll show you what I melted, but, you know, of course didn't finish. And then I'll go into the empties that will also end up in my monthly empties box. So I melted a cube in my bedroom of Sassy Girl Aromas Pink pink Sugar Serene Waters Rainforest Sugar Cane. I don't have to smell this. You, it's not a heavy pink sugar scent, this one. You, you smell it, but this is a very aquatic green scent. Um, I mean, it, like, if you can tell what I mean by that, it, it's, it's like, it's like a fresh outdoorsy, not outdoorsy, like walk in the woods. It's like outdoorsy, like, I guess like you can say rainforest and, um, with a tiny hint of sweetness from the pink sugar. I'm not sure if the sugar cane is supposed to sweeten it up, but, um, that's what I get from that. From Old Primitive Treasures, I melted a, a chunk of pink candy magic, again in my bedroom. And this is cotton candy, pink chiffon type, and baby magic type. I really, I kind of like anything with baby magic in it, I don't know. It's a very nostalgic scent. Um, I only have one kid, so, you know, I'm not slathering baby lotion all over the kids. But it does take me back to when she was a little munchkin she's seven now and she thinks she's like 20 
Um, again, from Old Primitive Treasures, a chunk of Pink Dreams. This is one of my favorite um, scent blends from Lara. It's Pink Sugar and Bedtime Lavender. And this is really, really nice. Let me not look. See, you know, and now I want to sniff everything. Um, okay, so let's see. Any more bags? I have been getting a lot of headaches lately. Um, I am a migraine sufferer, so that is nothing new. But um, that's when my Super Tarts Middle Earth comes to the rescue. Dirt, rosemary, and fresh mint leaf. This is one of my favorites when, you know, those headaches start setting in. I'll pop that in and I'll lay in bed and just inhale. Um, another one I like that also um, helps me with my headaches is Sheldon. Um, I don't have that one in here because I didn't melt it this past week, I don't think. But yes, that's a really, really good um, minty blend as well. Um, no more bags. So there's no more big bags. Um, we'll get into the other stuff. So I got through another few couple chunks of this blueberry candy fluff lemon pound cake. Yeah, it looks gross. I was thinking of just like using an old like tin or, or plastic jar from a, a scoopable or something and just plopping this in there because the wax is is parasoy and it's like two years old two and a half years old almost so it's really soft it's almost like scoopable um texture but it still smells really good so you know i don't want to like get rid of it i actually have this going in my bedroom right now um but yeah, I don't know. I digress. From the Country Scent Shack, I melted um, one of these. It actually wasn't a pie. It came with these three little pie shapes and like one moon and sun. I just snapped it in half and threw it in my kitchen and living room. This was a nice scent. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Grandma's Kitchen, I, I thought um, it was going to be like a heavy bakery type scent. But it's not. It's a more like an airy. Like I don't know what I, I. There's no. I can't look up the scent description because the shop is closed. I'm sure I can. Um. Well, and I'm cold, of course, with paraffin. You can't really tell the exact scent notes. I. I suppose I can. Ask Melissa what the scent notes are, but this is really nice. It's um. I almost get like a pipe tobacco scent from there, but not heavy thick scent I don't know it's good I like it but it's light um okay another one for Mimi's tarts is the Biolodge Trichomania I have one little chunk left here well I probably have to cut it in half because my, the warmer bowl in my bathroom is not that large um this is nice clean um like shampoo type scent and I do enjoy that Um, from Chloe and Me Candles, I melted the Late Rabbit, which is blueberry cotton candy. Um, this is hella strong. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, it's a very, very sweet blueberry, and they're all in these little pocket watches. I just popped, I mean, this is not that big. I just, I don't know, this is probably about a half an ounce. I pop just one of these into my bedroom warmer and that baby blue like I smelt it almost throughout my whole house and this was in my bedroom with the door closed well you know there's a lot of in and out for my bedroom but that was so strong and it was so freaking good I love blueberry scents I know that's kind of like one of those polarizing scents people hate it or they love it there's no kind of mat in between but the cotton candy mixed with it was just so amazing and I think that's all I have for bags all right so let's go into this monster mash from old primitive treasures this was one of those um, small little square bricks I cut it in fourths I melted a piece in my living room and a piece in my kitchen um, 
I don't I did not enjoy this as much as I thought I was going to. It's just I don't know what it is about it. There's something in this that's I don't know, it just throws my nose off. I have no idea what the hell I'm smelling. And there's no scent descriptions on the website. It's kind of reminiscent of, like, Candy Pail from Super Tarts. It's like a mixture of a whole bunch of, like, candy. But I don't I don't know. Maybe there's, there's something in there that just doesn't go right with my nose. It just does not agree. Um, so, I don't, I might de-stash this little bit. It performed very nicely, though. I, the, the throw was about a 3.5 to a 4 out of 5. It was like medium strong to strong. So that's good if I like that. From Better Homes and Gardens, I mounted two cubes of around the campfire. One in the living room, um, one in the kitchen. And this was really nice. It's very reminiscent of... Um, marshmallow fireside I, f I feel like the toasted marshmallow scent is just amazing I felt like I currently have a marshmallow fireside going on right now a candle behind me and it's so freaking good I love it I can I can probably melt this scent all year round I don't care I love it so much let me put this over here Let's see. It's from Sensationals, I melted another two cubes of marshmallow pumpkin cream. This is one of my favorite scents. I love it so much. It's just amazing. I, how much I love this is crazy. I think I need to go like buy the rest of the sleeve that's sitting on the shelf because they restocked it for some reason. From Super Tarts, I uh, melted. A, I'm losing my words. I melted a cube of Briarcliff Mac Apple Shaving Cream and Sea Salt. I melted this in my bathroom. It's really, really good scent. That shaving cream just goes really nice with the sea salt. And the Mac Apple. I think Mac Apple and shaving cream go together like peanut butter and jelly. They just blend so well together. <clears throat> I melted a cube of soul suckers in my bedroom, Death and Decay Lush type. I've never smelled that um, from Lush and Strawberry Slices. I surprisingly really like this one. On cold, it's kind of a really odd scent, but it's weirdly comforting on warm. It's really nice. I I like it at least. From Sensationals, I melted two cubes of pumpkin spice, one in the kitchen, one in the living room. This is a really another really good one. I like this. Um, it's not overly spicy for me. And I will continue to melt that. I will repurchase that as well. From Super Tarts, the time has come. Ocean Breeze, Blue Hawaiian Daiquiri, and Agave Sea Salt. This one surprised me. As I'm cold, I, sn I sniff it and it's just like way too sweet for me. Like all I smell is the Blue Hawaiian um, daiquiri and it reminds me of my late teen, early 20s when I was drinking that nasty Bacardi hurricane crap. Oh, it's so bad. I can't even smell it now. That's how bad it is. And it doesn't smell exactly like that, but it's reminiscent. But on warm, this transformed into something, like, amazing. I love it. I don't know if it's the ocean breeze or the sea salt. Because I think those two probably smell a little similar. But, um, this is really good. I would rebuy this. I got this in a de-stash from Devin. And um, I melted this actually twice, pumpkin pecan, oops, pecan pumpkin cake from Mainstays. I did melt this alongside the candle that I had burning of this pump, 
the pecan pumpkin cake. And this is really good. I really love this one. Oh, it's so good. And surprisingly, it was not that messy to come out. Look at that. I know a lot of the um, a lot of people have been trouble ha with the mainstays wax. Just for some reason, it's like trying to take scoopables out of a clamshell. Have fun with that. But um, yeah, that one didn't really give me any trouble. So now on to oh, here's another non empty, non empty. Oh, look at this. I have a butt ton over here, and I'm just like passing them over. <laughs> So one night I um in my bedroom again, Sassy Girl Pink Spearmint Noel. It's just pink sugar, spearmint, and vanilla bean Noel. Um, I melted that on another night that I had a headache. Um trying to see if the spearmint would um help me. Um along the same lines, I melted super tarts poltergeist, also on a headache night. Um surprisingly this was kind of fairly light to me. I don't I just don't I don't remember the scent that I got when it was melting. On cold, it is like a, um, it reminds me almost like a butter mint. Like those puffy mints. Um, I don't know. They're like buttercream and whatever. Vintage Chic Scents, Annabelle Doll, which is cranberry, strawberry, pomegranate. Wow, this is strong. Like, I mean, tiny little piece fill up your house strong. Um, and I really, I really like the, the, you know, the scent combination and the performance. I would, I mean, this is like 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, however you want to rate it. This was good. And it is over a year old. I'm, you know, I do have quite a bit of, not quite a bit, I have a, I want to say I have a pretty nice selection of vintage chic scents, but I'm afraid to melt anything that's newer because of so many people having issues with scent throw um, until it's cured like a year. So that's what I'm doing. I'm forgetting I have it. And then if I see something that's past that year mark, I'll melt it. I'll go for it. And it was really, really good. Now, this one was a little bit of a disappointed cranberry great pumpkin, which um, also from Vintage Chic Scents, which is um, pumpkin seven layer cake. Pumpkin layer cake, cotton candy frosting, and I'm sorry, cream cheese frosting and cranberry. Um, this was really light. It's a very nice scent, but it was super light. Um, and it is a year old, if you look at the date, November 3rd of last year. So I think it's, you know, at its peak, it's as strong as it's going to get. So I might as well just finish it. I melted a piece of Love Spell from Kelly's Candle Corner. Smells like Love Spell. Very nice scent, and it performed nicely. Alright, so that's everything that I melted but did not finish. And um, let's go. Oh, look, Sheldon. <laughs> I did finish this one. I'm, I, I'm sad. I really, really like this. Spearmint and Rosemary Mint. This is one of my favorites, especially on those headache days. I tend to go for this one before the Middle Earth, so I do like them probably about equally. Mm -mm -mm, running out of room here. What time is it? I gotta go pick up my daughter at the bus stop. Oh no, we're good. Okay, so from Better Homes and Gardens, I finished this clam of sweet candied apples. Um, it was a nice scent. Um, nothing special. You got the apple scent, but mostly it was that, um, you smelled like the artificial, like the hard candy shell. Um, and I liked it. It was good. I mean, I'll probably pick it up next year if it's out again. Um, I finished this clam of soft blanket, blanket from Kelly's Candle Corner. Um, I used the last two cubes that I had in my 24 watt mainstays because I find 
a lot of her stuff does not throw very well and this did not either so I mean I'm done with it I mounted it just to get it out of my stash um from sparkles wax melts this is the only thing I've ever owned from that I got this in a D stash I think is either a freebie or just something I just said hmm, that sounds interesting why I don't know because I hate fresh bread scents any bread scents I don't like them and this is lemon bunt baguettes and on cold it, it smelled see it smells so good on cold like a lemon bakery and when I warmed this sucker at first it was good you got the lemon after that lemon burned off it was like gag all bread and I hated it I had to dump it from Mimi's tarts yeah, I know you can't see anything um but I finished a um loaf chunk of farmhouse cider with apple mango tango overpour this is really nice combination and if I can get it again um, maybe in a custom or if she brings it out for next season next fall I'm, I'm trying not to buy anything any more fall wax right now it's ridiculous I'm up to my ears in fall wax and it's crazy I went nuts and now I'm panicking for the winter Christmas wax and I'm probably gonna do the same thing and go nuts but this was nice. You really did get the apple cider scent. And the apple mango tango um, just lent a really nice clean cleanliness to it. It was fresh. It was not a warm scent. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like losing my voice. Uh, marshmallow Fireside from Wilma's. Now that smell good shop. Amazing. Um... It was just two little cubes that, um, you know, how Wilma's stuff comes, those little, I don't know, they look like small mini ice cubes. Um, this was so freaking good. I just like, I'm so in love with Marshmallow Fireside right now. And this threw like crazy, crazy good. Oh, look, something that's not finished from, um, have, like, one melt left in here, these little mini cubes of Tiffany Candle, which is Tiffany Candle's Cotton Candy Honeydew Melon Pink Berry Tonka Bean. This is nice. I, I generally use this in my bedroom. It's hard to describe. It's just like a girly, I don't know, I just think pink when I smell that. From Old Primitive Treasures, I finished a half of a fluted tart of pink chiffon in the bathroom. Nice girly scent. From um, Little Pony Creations, this is Rainbow Sherbet. Um, smelled like Rainbow Sherbet. Did not last long, though. Super Tart Jackal. This was um, from the Very Sweet Sampler. Blackberry Preserve, Zucchini Bread, and Toasted Marshmallow. This was really, really good. I, ugh, I'm i not surprised because I do love blackberry. I like zucchini bread as long as it doesn't smell like Doritos. Um, and the Toasted Marshmallow just kind of like creams it all out. This was really, really good and I hope I can get more. I haven't been whack shopping lately because I'm broke. It's like seriously broke. Super Tarts Full House. I had a few band pieces that I finished up. It's a nice um, like sugar cookie blend. I forget what else is in it. But it was nice. I would not purchase it though. Fresh Juicy Pear from Dessa's. Oh my god, this is so amazing. This I mean, I only had a small piece in here. It was like a half of one of her little cotton candy shapes. And oh my gosh, it's so, it's like mouth-watering juicy. And the throw was phenomenal. It was just really, really good. And I really enjoyed this scent. I had, I don't know how old this was. I got this back in May. Um, I don't know how old it was when I got it. But raspberry cream candy is a sample from Beezy's. 
um this is really good um like a, it tasted i mean it's it tasted it smelled like a raspberry cream saver um i really really wish they still made those um because i used to love those the raspberries and the orange ones the orange cream skull but it was good it performed nicely um i've never bought from bc's before but i would consider it um considering how well this performed um blackberry pumpkin zucchini waffles uh old primitive treasures i really like this and i'm sad i probably can't get any more of it um before she closes um for good um lara is moving to Ger germany i believe in april so we're not going to be able to get any of this stuff but this is a really really nice blackberry scent the pumpkin zucchini waffles it just lends a, a slight bakery note to it, but it's not heavy. It's very fresh smelling, and I really, really enjoy this one. And the performance is great. From Lovely Naturals Bath and Body, um, I got this in a random act of kindness from Lily Pop. I forget her name. Leanne, I think. Um... She's the owner of this shop, um, and it was a nice scent. I think it was just like cherry and pink sugar. I'm not really sure, but the scent was light. Um, it did say ready to melt um, in July, but it is 100% natural soy and beeswax. I'm not sure if there's like a different like cure time for this stuff, the soy and the beeswax, because I enjoyed the scent, but... It was really, really light, and um, I just wish it was a bit stronger, considering I don't even like cherry scents. Um, I melted Stay Puffed from Super Tarts, Marshmallow Fluff, Strawberry Rock Candies, and Blueberry. I really enjoyed this. I have a clam of it, so I felt okay melting this from the yeast sampler. And that all my Super Tarts really performs pretty well. I can get a good, like, eight hours six to eight hours um out of that sometimes more depending on what it is and last but not least from Mimi's tarts um I had two pumpkins shapes left over uh, from last fall in Witch's Brew which is a customer creation blend that Carmine did not keep the recipe for so she could not tell me what is in it it just I don't know I really really liked it it smells like candy bag but instead of all the fruity candies this reminded me of like the Mary Janes and the Tootsie Rolls and um you know stuff like not heavy chocolate but like that artificial Tootsie Roll chocolate and I really really liked it surprisingly I hate chocolate and wax but yeah I really really enjoyed it I wanted to finish it up because I'm not trying to hold on to a, a lot of stuff that I have that's older that's why I'm just trying to get through it but yeah, that's everything I went through in the past two weeks. Not one. Um, I think I, I got through a pretty good chunk. Um, so yeah, let me know if I should keep doing these bi-weekly or go back to doing it weekly. I kind of enjoy um, seeing my box filled, um, you know, so that I can give you a nice, good video. Some people hate long videos. Um, and if you do... Then, you know, I mean, that's fine, and I will do it weekly. Um, but thank you guys for sitting here with me, or driving, or washing dishes, or whatever you're doing while you're watching. And have a great day. Bye-bye.